So now that we've created the sprite for the pipes and the different costumes, what we're going to do now is we're going to um, make the pipes move from the right hand side over to the left hand side and to continue to come across at all times during the game. So the first event we're going to use is a game when the game, game starts or when the green flag is clicked. Um, and the first thing that we want to do with the pipes is we want them to hide. We want them to take up a few seconds before the pipes actually start appearing. So I'm going to click on show or sorry looks and I'm going to select hide. And then I'm going to have a wait which can be found in sync control at the top. So I'm going to wait for five seconds or so. Obviously you can change this yourself. And then what we're going to do is we are going to, after the five seconds, we're going to have a forever loop. And inside that, we're going to have the, because of, because we've got lots of different uh, pipes in the actual game, what we could do, do is have lots of different sprites, um, but that's slightly confusing. So there's a tool in this called clones, which we're going to use so that we use one sprite and we just recreate it every time that we actually need it. So we're going to wait forever. Okay, and inside that we're going to wait for a couple of seconds. Obviously we don't want them to come out one after the other. I'll show you this in a second when I actually get it working. And then what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to create a clone. So I'm going to go to the bottom and I'm going to create a clone. So the pipe is going to create a clone of itself. It's going to wait five seconds, then it's going to wait two seconds, create a clone of, it of itself, then wait another two seconds create a clone of itself and this is going to allow us to have lots of different sprites coming across or lots of different pipes coming across the screen and the actual code for the, the pipe moving across the screen itself is actually very easy but instead of using the when green flag click, clicked brick like we usually do we're going to say when I start as a clone so when the clone is generated we want it to go to a certain position obviously we want it to be on the right hand side of the screen so I'm going to go to motion going to select go to XY and for this I'm going to change X to 240 because I know that's the right hand side of the screen I'm going to leave Y at 33 for now because that's where we know uh, Y it needs to be for the pipes to be on top of the ground and then what I'm going to do is when, it, when it, you can see it's still hidden when it gets to the right hand side of the screen we want to actually show the sprite so I'm going to click on sprite I'm going to make sure that it's shown, so it's going to go to the right hand side of the screen, it's going to show. Then what we're going to do is we're going to use motion again, and we're going to use the glide function. So we want this sprite now to glide, and instead of 240 on the right hand side of the screen, it's going to be minus 240. If I just... Can see it's we've got lots of different pipes going across the screen now you might have noticed they're slightly too quick so i'm going to change the glide one second let's try glide in two seconds see what that's like green flag it again probably slightly too quick so i'm going to change the glide to three seconds Gonna green flag it, let's see what that's like. Let's stop everything first of all. Green flag it. So now we've got the pipes coming across. Fairly good speed. Now you all notice they're all coming across the exact same height, so it's very easy. We're gonna change that in one second. But that is now the piece that's the code that we need to get the pipes going across the screen. So when the game starts. We want the pipes to hide, we want to wait 5 seconds before any pipes come across the screen and then we're going to generate a new pipe every 2 seconds. We can change that to speed up the number of pipes that we've got or how quick they come out or we can change this to change the length of the delay at the start of the game and then whenever the, the clone is actually created of the pipe what happens is it goes to the right hand side of the screen which is this piece of code here, go to the right hand side of the screen, show the pipe, glide it from the right hand screen over to the left hand side of the screen and then hide it. So to finish that off we should just have a and then we should delete that clone. So that's gonna we don't actually need the hide, we can just delete it. Green flag that and make sure it still works. So flappy can go up and down, you can move around the screen. 
pipes are going to come in shortly and they're going to move from the right hand side of the screen to the left hand side of the screen at intervals of every two seconds which is about right for the speed of this game um, so that's that part of this, the code for the pipes done the next thing that we want to do is we want it to, every time that a clone is generated at the minute you'll see the pipes are all it's the same costume each time so before we when i start as a clone the first thing that we wanted to do is to go on the looks and we want to switch to a certain costume so we want to switch to costume and then inside that we're going to use an operator and we're going to switch from costume that it currently is to costume pick random one two i think we've got six is it six so different costumes one two three four five six so now each one should hopefully come in when i start as a clone switch costume to random number between one and six go to the right hand side of the screen show glide across the screen delete the clone let's see if that works so now the pipe should be at different costumes coming across we can sort out the timing etc after yeah so you can see now it's selecting different costumes each time and we can now we now you have the bare bones of the game actually working now it's probably slightly too fast at the minute and we can change that uh, in a few seconds so that's the first part of the pipes actually that's the main code for the pipes done and that will have us the next piece of code that will be adding will be back to flappy which will mean that whenever flappy hits the pipe it's game over